Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HL has gained significant achievement and expertise in developing of helicopters from multiple roles. Starting with the licensed production of Cheetah and Chetak, HL has transformed itself to indigenously develop utility and combat helicopters such as LH Dhruv, LH Rudra, LCH, LUH and now IMRH. Today we are going to discuss in detail about IMRH and its production timeline which is going to be the backbone of Indian Armed Forces in future. IMRH is a twin engine, multi-role, multi-mission, 13-ton weight class of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to replace the MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better in many aspects than MI-17 V-5. Considering the requirement of our armed forces, it is estimated that Indian Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200, 100 and 14 IMRH helicopters respectively. Considering the above number of helo requirement, the overall cost is going to be close to $20 billion for total of 314 IMRH helicopters and additional $11 billion in MRO fees. The helicopter will be developed in collaboration with private players with minimum 50% indigenous components. The IMRH is being designed to perform versatile roles and operations which include support air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics, example troop transport, combat search and rescue and casualty evacuation operations. Its design and features have been developed on par with five current heavy class rotorcraft, which is the Airbus Helicopters S225M, Leonardo Helicopters AW101, MI17, NH Industries NH90, and Sukoski S92. The IMRH is to be equipped with a smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, four-axis automatic flight control system, state-of-art mission systems, advanced avionic systems, a service ceiling of 6.5 km, range of 800 km, an endurance of 3 hours, a payload of 4000 kg and a maximum cruise speed of 270 km per hour. Talking about its dimension, IMRH is going to be 25.16 meters long along with height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meters. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. IMRH is designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitudes. It will have five foldable blades in main rotor made up of composite material. The tail will have four rotor blades. The IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti-tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kgs. It can also carry 500 kgs of payload on the hard point near fuselage. In total, it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kgs and overall payload capacity of 4000 kgs. At an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, it can carry payload of 1000 kgs which will be best in its class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. The main frame of IMRH will be mostly built up of composite materials keeping it light and stealthy in design. The airframe has been designed in modular fashion which will aid in faster production and assembly of the helicopter. The IMRH cockpit will have full class smart cockpit with AI enabled and wide area multifunction display. The helicopter will feature twin engine with a dual channel FA DEC and 2000 kW of power. The naval version of Hilo might be powered by GE T700 GE 410C turbo shaft engine which is also used in USA ML60 Romeo helicopters. It will also have an APU with battery for redundancy in case of engine failure. The digital design and the wind test of the helicopter and its components is complete. 
Talking about its development timeline, the design of IMRH for Army and Air Force is planned to be frozen by 2021. The naval variant is going to be bigger than Army and Air Force and its design is expected to be frozen by 2022. The structural test of its unarmed variant is planned to be conducted in 2023 followed by its first flight in 2024. The armed version of IMRH will undergo structural testing by 2025. HAL has planned to produce three to four flying prototypes. The new Halo will enter production by 2029. This helicopter is going to be best in class of utility helicopters with combat capabilities which can provide enough firepower and support when needed. This platform can further be enhanced to build Apache class combat helicopters. However, considering the HL's reputation of delaying project, all we can hope that it adheres to its timeline. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.